This is the TVNews.TV, brought to you by CTAM Summit and CTAM Insights. One location, two conferences, one price to access both. For registration and information, visit CTAMConferences.com. Welcome to the TVNews.TV. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. It's Tuesday, May 29th, and here now is the lead in the form of a TVNews.TV analysis and commentary. Now this is an official Soylent Green TV alert. You got it, Tom! Soylent Green is people! Soylent Green is people! Now for those of you playing at home, Soylent Green TV is the cannibalization and regurgitation and the re-cannibalization and regurgitation of established media fare in the TV industry. Remember, Soylent Green is people. Yes, we've railed and railed about the lack of originality in the TV biz these days, but apparently to no avail, and here's why. In just a couple of weeks, TNT will be resurrecting Dallas. Hey, I was once a fan, but let's face it, the only havoc J.R. Ewing is capable of wreaking is in the assisted living section. HBO is in the process of remaking the legendary classic I, Claudius, and we say, if HBO thinks they're going to outdo the original, they've got another thing coming to them. Now, the CW, they're remaking Beauty and the Beast. You know what? I'm still not over the direct that CBS served up in the 80s. FX and Charlie Sheen will serve up a heaping helping of Soylent Green TV with anger management. Now, will that make consumers mad? Only time will tell. The industry doesn't think so because there's just so much more Soylent Green TV waiting in the wings. Here's some examples. NBC's The Munsters. ABC has a pilot for its own Beauty and the Beast remake. Yeah, we need that like another hole in the head. And now being shopped around the TV industry. Get ready, get set. The Exorcist, the miniseries. Yeah, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to push whomever is pushing that POS down the Exorcist steps in Georgetown. But wait, there's more Soylent Green TV in various stages of development. Get ready for the Flintstones, Bewitched, Frankenstein, The Rifleman, Valley of the Dolls, and much, much more. You know what? Here is the complete directory of primetime network TV shows, 1946 to present. And apparently, uh, this is now serving as the program guide for the TV industry. You know what? We at the TV News TV, we find this to be lame, lamentable, and to be perfectly frank, just pitiful regarding the state of creativity in the TV industry. So, right here, right now, we are calling for an absolute dead-on moratorium on any more Soylent Green TV. Are you with us? Time now for the New Media New Marketing Report. Now, although John Leland is on holiday, he did want us not to forget about YouTube's seventh birthday, as they have been so instrumental in redefining how we access video where, when, and how we want it. YouTube went to the trouble of producing their own celebratory video, and so here it is right now. first started it was just trying to share these clips with one another we saw the power of simplifying a process and giving everyone a solution hi YouTube we just want to say thank you today we have some exciting news for you we've been acquired by Google hello John Lee that really hurts. I'm Clara I'm 91 years old this is the CNN YouTube debate. Yes, we can! One of the features of growing old is heightened awareness of change. Is this real life? Oh my god, you're walking! We can't stand in there! <laughs> Justin Bieber's getting ready to go down. 
people who are taking these pictures are literally risking their lives to do what they're doing, and YouTube gives them a venue. Well, start making your attendance plans right now for the only industry trade event where you get two, two conferences at one location for only one price. CTAM Summit and CTAM Insights. It's all happening October 14th through the 16th, and right now you can save big with an early bird discount. For more information and to register, visit ctamconferences.com. If you want to be one of our fantastic sponsors, just like CTAM, here's how you can get started. Email us at advertise at the tvnews.tv, and you know what? We look forward to hearing from you. Now, Wednesday, Bill Tush invites you to go ahead, make his day on As Seen on TV. We'll explain more about that. And that's all followed by Susan Hibben with the Programming Pulse. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day. As always.